For the last couple of days, we've been talking about these ozone high pollution advisories, and it is expected to continue tomorrow. Now, while it is important to stay indoors as much as we can while it peaks through the afternoon, we wanted to go out early and answer your questions that you have about ozone pollution. And the biggest one was, what is it? How's it going? Hey, man. How are you? Doing well. Fun, nice little hike today? Yes. What do you know about ozone? As far as the sun rays and UV. There is good ozone and bad ozone. Like many of the hikers we talked to today, they knew about the ozone high up in the sky that protects us from solar radiation, which is the good ozone. But ground ozone, it's bad, and it can restrict your breathing and lead to respiratory issues, especially in those with pre-existing conditions. Now, unlike our small particle pollution that turns our skies brown and hazy, ground ozone, it's colorless and odorless. It is concerning because they don't know about yeah, it. You don't you know. Know. Yeah, you don't know. You don't know. You can't see it. it it's just like carbon monoxide. You can't see it. You know, it's bad. Too much of it would kill you. This is why it is so important to sign up for the Clean Air app ran by Maricopa County, as air quality alerts will be sent directly to your phone. But for visitors like Irma and Tony, they say there should be additional warnings on the trails for those who are visiting and may not have the app. Maybe a sign somewhere that just says the level of, you know, pollution or ozone pollution. Now, these ozone high pollution days occur more often during our spring and especially our summer here, and there's a reason why. So let's take a look at it. So first, the combustion of fuels from our cars and factories creates a pollutant known as nitrogen oxides. And when that gets in our atmosphere and is present along with our volatile organic compounds also produced by cars and VOC products, they typically mix together through a chemical reaction. But I want to take you back to elementary school. Remember when your science teacher told you that when we do a chemical reaction, not all, but many of them, when we add heat, it actually speeds up the process. So during the spring and summer, that heat helps these two mix much faster together, creating that invisible ground ozone pollution. And this is why it is so important that we limit our time outside during these advisories, especially the afternoon and early evenings when the heat is at its highest. In the studio, Justin Hobbs, ABC 15, Arizona.